I'm about to steal some ideas from a friend of mine and then I'm gonna call him and ask him what he thinks about it. Hi Steve! <laughs> you right? I didn't copy your project, I just stole your idea and made my own take on it. <laughs> it seems everyone steals my ideas, but yeah. But before I go ahead and steal, let's dive into the world of stealing. Because where do you actually draw the line between being inspired and stealing? And what is actually stealing? When researching, I found a lot of great makers talking about stealing. Like Steve Jobs, he said, good artists copy, great artists steal. We've always been shameless about stealing great ideas. And David Bowie said, the only art I'll ever study is stuff that I can steal from. And my favorite from Banksy stealing a quote from Picasso. So when do you actually cross the line into a simple thief of ideas? Growing up, my parents told me that stealing is immoral, something that is wrong. And I bet most of you were told the same thing. And now here I am telling you to steal. There's a book called Steal Like an Artist. It's a book by Austin Kleon and he lists some of the differences between good theft and bad theft. So good theft, according to Austin, is among other things stealing from many instead of just stealing from one. Because if you steal from one person, that is called plagiarism. But if you steal from many, people can't tell you did. You will just look like a creative who came up with your own thing. So think of your idols or your inspiration and gather them up in one place. Like do a mood board or whatever. Just collect all the things you want to steal into one place. So here's my plan of stealing. I have a friend of mine called Steve. He runs the YouTube channel Steve Bell Creates. And I also do a podcast together with him called The Three Northern Makers. And I will tell you, he is full of good ideas. So if you want to join me in stealing his ideas, listen back to the podcast. In his first ever YouTube video, he made wooden vases. And I really loved his idea of making wooden vases. So I'm just gonna steal it from him. I wonder what he will say about this. But I also found other things that I want to steal. So I collected all of the things I want to steal into one file. So rather than just stealing from Steve, I'm also stealing from bottle and bottle caps. I also have a furniture piece by Nick James Design because I really love the rounded shapes he makes on his items. So when I had all the things I needed, I just went to the computer and drew up my own design for a wooden vase. And this is what I came up with in Illustrator. And if you don't have Illustrator, any drawing program will do. So I have imported my files into Lightburn. That way I can use my laser to cut them out in 3mm plywood. And then I can use it as a template. All right, so I have my two shapes. I don't really like the bottle one, so I'm just gonna go with this one. I have the router with a flush trim bit, but I am a bit scared of that machine. I've had some issues before with kickbacks and just ruining projects on it. So I'm a bit scared, but I'm gonna do it anyway. And everything went perfect until... Oh, so then I did it all over again, but this time I sanded it down to size with my spindle sander instead of using the flush trim bit. So if I drill down into the vase, I won't be able to put water in it. But my friend Steve, he came up with a really good idea. So what he did was that he dropped down test tubes into the drilled hole. That way he can pour water into the test tube without damaging the wood. 
and that way you can actually put living flowers inside. So naturally, according to the topic of this video, I'm going to steal that idea too. So I have these test tubes that are 20 millimeters in diameter and I also have the same size Forstner bit. And since I want to drill a bit further, I have an extension for the bit. To finish it, I'm using Rubio Monocle Pure. Not everyone is open to stealing their ideas. And that's why companies all over the world protect their ideas with patents. And one example being this. This is a plunge router from Bosch. They have a patent on the light that the router has whilst using it. Therefore, other companies can't do the same thing on their routers. And that is one more reason to use many sources of inspiration instead of just one. So when people around me say, where do you get all the ideas from? I can choose to say, I stole them, or I can say, I was inspired by. How are you? Yeah, good. So I made a video about stealing ideas, and I also told the viewers that you were a great source of stealing ideas from, since you have a lot of them. <laughs> it seems everyone steals my ideas, but yeah. Before I show it to you, uh, what are your thoughts about stealing ideas? Um... I don't, I think everyone steals ideas, Pierre. It's not necessarily uh, a blatant copy, although some people do just rip an idea off and copy it totally. Somebody I know made a bench that was very similar to a bench that you could, <laughs> you could buy in a store. I won't mention the name. <laughs> but um, I think um, we all look for inspiration. So we get inspiration from things we... We search, let's just say we're going to build a vase, a wooden vase. You'll go searching for pictures of wooden vases, most people do, don't they? To try and get some inspiration about what big, how big they should be, what type of wood you should use, shapes. And so you get all that information and then you make your sort of version of it. So you have stone parts of lots of different ones to make something, and that's fine. But I think a blatant copy is a bit of a no-no. Yeah, but I, I was really inspired of your wooden vase, but then I made like a map where I put some pictures of, uh, of bottle caps and whiskey bottles. And then I tried, tried uh, drawing uh, some shapes from that. The, um, the bottle I drew, the whiskey bottle I drew didn't turn out that good, but I made from a bottle cap from the Gorilla Glue. So that's, that's the shape I went for. So I'm going to show it to you now. So this oh yeah, oh that looks cool. Huh? Yeah. Is that a nice big flower? And and this flower, this flower is actually one of the flowers you gave us when you came to <laughs> visit. <laughs> hey. It looks fantastic. Steve was okay with my theft, and I think you should actually steal ideas. Just make sure they come from many sources instead of just one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.